Hello everyone, this is your tutor AB and today we're going to be solving a November 2019 IB Physics SL problem. This is a paper 2 question worth 7 marks. So let's get started. An electron is placed at a distance of 0.4 meters from a fixed point charge of negative 6 millicoulomb. Here's a diagram and part A says show that the electric field strength due to the point charge at the position of the electron is 3.4 into 10 to the power of 8 newton per coulomb. So before we solve this part A, let's first understand what's going on. You have a point charge right there and you have an electron to the right of it. This point charge creates an electric field and the electric field can be felt by the electron. There is some electric field strength of the electric field is felt by the electron. There is some influence on it. And due to the influence of this electric field, the electron behaves a certain way. Before we get to the behavior of the electron, first we need to figure out what is the electric field strength felt by this electron due to the point charge. Well, you have an equation in your data booklet, so you can refer to that, but I do recommend you memorize these equations as it will be helpful during the test. The equation to use here is electric field strength E is equal to K Q over R square, where K is a constant. So let's plug this into our equation. K we know from our data booklet is 8.99 into 10 to the power of 9, that's a constant, times by the Q, Q of the charge that's creating the electric field, the thing that is creating the electric field. Remember that that's very important. Not what is feeling the electric field, what is creating the electric field. So we can put negative 6. We can just put 6. We can take the magnitude 6 into 10 to the power of negative 3 coulomb. How Notice how I converted millicoulomb to coulomb. That's always important. We need to keep our SI units standard. So 6 into 10 to the power of negative 3 coulomb over 0 0.4 square. It always needs to be in meters. So if I check what's the answer, let's put this on our calculators. We get 0.99 into 10 to the power of 9 times 6 times 10 to the power of negative 3 0 0.4 square we get the answer is 3371250000 and of course you don't want to write it like this in the actual test you need to simplify it write it in scientific notation so we can round this and write it in scientific notation as 3.4 into 10 to the power of 8 nano not nano sorry newton per coulomb always use significant figures and round when possible the next question calculate the magnitude of the initial acceleration of the electron now if you recall do we have any equation for acceleration in the d section of the data booklet we don't don't do we we don't have any in uh, equation like that but from remembering back to our Newton's laws of motion, we remember the equation F is equal to ma. This is one of our standard equation of forces. But how can we use this to solve for this question? Well, we know that force can also be written as K Q1 Q2 over R square, that's in your data booklet, this is the force due to charges and if we divide this whole expression by the mass, we get acceleration, right? It's simply just substitution right now. We're just manipulating the equations to get it in a form that we can use and then substituting our known values to get what we need, which is acceleration. So let's put this in our calculator. Let's write it down first, 8.99 into 10 to the power of 9, the constant, times for the first charge, which is going to be that of the electron, we take magnitude of the charges, so 1.6 into 10 to the power of negative 19. 
this is actually given in your data booklet so you don't need to worry and last one we have 6 into 10 to the power of negative 3 this thing over 0 0.4 square and this whole thing over the mass of the electron which is actually given to you in the first few sections of the data booklet as 9.1 into 10 to the power of negative 31 kilograms this is a very small number so if we put this on our calculators we get the acceleration of the electron to be let's put this on our calculators I've actually already calculated beforehand the answer is 5.9 into 10 to the power of 19 meters per second it's actually really fast okay but that's your answer 5.9 into 10 to the power of 19 meters per second okay so let's go to the next question describe the subsequent motion of the electron now how do we do this well let's go back to our diagram shall we yeah, that's our diagram right there so why is this diagram useful you may ask well the electric field created by this point charge acts always towards the point charge right so it's acting this way it's acting towards the point charge that's the electric field that it creates and for a positive point charge it would be it would be away from the charge itself and for a negative point charge it's towards the charge okay so that's the electric field that's created on this electron the electron is the field on the electron is going to the left but we know for a negatively charged particle such as an electron the force is always opposite to the electric field direction so the force that is felt by it is actually to the right and the reason it is to the right is because electron is negative the point charge is negative they repel each other the electron wants to go as far as possible from this negative point charge and so it repels and it's moving further from it so it's going towards the right this is the direction of the electron it's to the right so what can we say for this question we can say the electron moves along the path right along the path joining the two charges the charges to the right it's going to the right what else do we need to know well it's velocity is increasing because it's in the influence of an electric field it's going to be having an increase in velocity it has some acceleration but also keep in mind the further it goes away from the particle creating the electric field the lower its acceleration will be so it's as although its velocity is increasing the acceleration will actually be decreasing its velocity increasing but it's acceleration decreasing the reason for this decrease again is because it's going further away from the particle creating the electric field and so the influence of the electric field is lesser so it's going to accelerate less but nonetheless it still has an acceleration so its velocity is still going to be increasing although it's going to be increasing at a lesser and lesser rate over time now that's it that should be all three marks you got your three points that's one 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 you got your three marks you get two marks for this and you get two marks for this that's seven marks in total i wish you all the best for your exams please like and subscribe see you next in the next one